What do you got? Oh, I did need to give her a melee weapon, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, we'll take that. Sunshine Sightings is coming back up. Nice. And plenty of food. Plenty of money. We're taking that. Plenty of ASAMs. Okay. 14 beds, huh? What? There he is. There he is. Boom. Thanks, Dorg. You are on the board. Officially. Look at that. Look at that kid. Right hey up there. there. Hi, 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 Piper. Look at that. It says recent subscriber, Major Dord. We did. You're absolutely right. We absolutely did. Uh, and I gave you a mod also. So you can pretty much do whatever you want. Hold on a minute. Let me check something. Because I've got my, um, my other mod account hanging out. I want to see if I can spend my bits a minute. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, Dord, what do you think about the closed captioning? I'd almost like to move it a little bit if I could. But I don't think I can have it come in and then transcribe what I'm saying and then say that and then, like, go away if I'm quiet. What? Allison... Well, I'm testing out my new rig. I got uh, affiliate the other day. Hold on, we're gonna do this. Uh, where's my thing? How's that? Yeah, I thought the closed captioning actually was kind of, I, I thought it was a good idea. I saw it the other day and I was like, oh, I want to give it a try and, and check it out and whatever. And you can disable it. They didn't uh, tell me much. Vault tech. Just to make sure everyone filled out their forms. I was supposed to win a pack of steak knives. You got nothing. You got nothing, Vault tech rep. 
Yeah, so if you if you hover your mouse or whatever over uh, the screen, you should be able to go into settings for the closed captioning and be able to turn it off or turn it on or do some modifications or whatever kind of stuff from there. So like for people without headphones, you know, people with, with their speakers muted or whatever, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to test out. Oh, there's somebody at the door. Hold on a minute. There's somebody at my door. Uh, sorry, that was a flower delivery. It's Flowers Friday. Okay. It seems like the settlement is doing okay. Sturgis, we don't really care about you. Damn, this thing freaks. Okay, where are we going? Ten Pines Bluff, I think, is okay also. All right. Let's do that. And then when we go back to town, we'll go back to the library and do the stuff for the CPD. Well, maybe we'll go back home first then. Oh, let's go back home first. Yeah, you guys are fine. Wait a minute. Some goons are in possession of their mental faculties. Place is really coming together, oh, huh? Why? I can't take all the credit. Is there a home that it's we can an honor to me. that we can turn into a two-story home? What's this? Organics collector. Okay. Nice. Look at this sorry piece of shit. You're supposed to be in charge of the Minutemen here. See, people tell me that I'm like, who the fuck is this wimp? Wait a minute. Why are you being rude to me? You know who I am. So tell me, what are you doing here? I am Sneak, the deadliest motherfucker in the Commonwealth. Shit, probably the world. Fuck it, the solar system. The sun's a big pussy, just like you. I came here Why are to you? challenge your pathetic leadership to tear apart the feeble loincloth of your so-called authority. I came, one might say, to conquer. I hereby invoke the ancient right of Fisty Punchy. I, Sneak, first exiled of my tribe, cast out for being too good at killing, known henceforth as the Kill Stealer, and the mere mention of whose true name is punishable by eye-licking, challenge you to a fist fight. You, against...
against me one on one. No weapons allowed. What the crap is your problem? Wait a minute, do I have to actually fight this person? Who are you? A Soltron designation OM zero R two hundred ten years of active combat duty, one thousand one hundred sixty two confirmed kills, requesting shelter and assistance with repairs, non vital. Wait a minute. What? Who are you fighting? The Chinese in the Great War. Okay. Since then, other people in countless little wars, always at the command of bloodthirsty humans. I do not dream, but I see their faces anyway. What? They pass before my optical cortex as my memory spools defragment in the quiet hours of the night. 1,162 faces. I see them in perfect, immaculate detail. I can tell you the color of their eyes, the number of lines on their faces, how they scream. <laughs> I am sorry. I did not come to acquire sympathy. A new fusion core and an assaultron circuit board will be sufficient to effect my repairs. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Don't worry. I'll get you up and running. I do not worry. Thank you all the same. I will await your return. Weird. Okay. Where's this jerk that was trying to fight me? Come here. Guess what you get? I'm gonna crit you right in the face. Take that. And that. And that. And that. Where are you going? Get over here. You punk. Come on, you want to fight? Let's go. I would rather your flesh. You're not doing nothing, you punk. Get out of here. And one more for good measure. And take that. What? You beat me? How? Because you never punched me. You're not pretty good. You're a punk. Don't question me. I am your leader. You obey. I obey no one but the voice inside my head that tells me who's going <laughs> to smash. And which fiberglass jockstrap to wear. I'll be back. Probably. Okay. I don't know if I like you. You seem like kind of a punk. I'm going to send you to Outpost Zamonja. Nothing stays hidden forever. <laughs> Not if I have my say. Skulls stacked to the roof. That was before my 10th birthday. Move. Jerk. Okay. That guy was a punk. What is his problem? He literally came here to fight me. Whatever. Okay, they need a couple more beds, but I don't see any houses that are being built. You guys didn't build any houses, did you? Jin Long, what are you? Our little 